an athlete that has done a lot of sports and has been active my whole life. I feel like golf, you know, definitely keeps not only my brain going and active and, you know, it's like they say when you don't read for a while, you're not engaging your brain or study. I feel like golf engages the brain. Golf, you know, gets that fired. Same thing with when you move your body. You know, um, to go out and walk 18 holes. I mean, 18 holes walking a golf course is usually around five miles. So, um, how many people do you know daily that just walk five miles? Now, you can play golf with it. It's perfect. I mean, you're entertaining yourself while walking. Um, so, I think you get the best of both worlds. Um, you know, you can go to the extent of training for golf. So, I work out six days a week. Um, you know, would I work out without golf? Yes, but uh, golf specifically wise, and to just stay in shape and keep myself healthy for golf, um, you know, also pushes me to work out. You know, I really think golf is good for the mind because I feel like it really uh, engages both lobes, uh, left and right part of the brain. Um, you know, it's very creative and it's very uh, um, analytical. So I think, you know, activating both those sides is huge. Um, not a lot do we use the creative side of our brain anymore. Um, you know, I think in schooling, you know, you get to draw and do projects and stuff like that. But, you know, as we get older, we kind of slack off with that and we get in the monotonous routine of life. Um, so I feel like being able to just activate that brain and, um, t I mean, motor skills. So it's just learning the swing. Um, so I feel like there's so many aspects to golf that challenge our brain. Golf is a very social sport. I mean, yes, can you go and play by yourself? 100%. It's one of the few sports that you can actually go and do by yourself. Now, at the same time, as you can also do with a bunch of friends. Um, you know, whether you like to bet with friends or you just like to have a casual, friendly game. Um, but there's a, so many people that if you belong to a club or go to a public course that you can meet people. I think it's a, a great place to find people of similarity, um, you know, of all ages, uh, you know, whether you're a young generation or even the older generation. Uh, there's so many people that I know that their retirement plan is to play golf. Uh, and you can do it all over the world. So uh, I just think it's has so many great attributes in that realm. Uh, you know, couples, they go on vacation, uh, you play golf. Uh, buddies, you know, they travel, you know, and especially in the US, they travel over to Scotland, the UK, Australia. They, they want to play golf. They set up golf trips. So. Um, I think, you know, social-wise, it's automatic. Putting research uh, behind and just, you know, kind of stating sometimes what is the obvious that you can blatantly see out of this sport, uh, it's just bringing awareness to it. I think it's uh, generating popularity. I think it drives more people to want to, you know, discover it and, oh, what is this sport about? Oh, wow, I actually love it. You know, growing up, I felt like, you know, there wasn't too many people that wanted to play it, I think. And then as they got older, they just fell in love with it. They wanted you know, that's all they wanted to do. And so it's like I have friends now that call me up that want to play all the time when I come home and visit and stuff like that that never played before, but they just found the love of the game. And I think that if anybody actually tries it, they'll see like, wow, this game is awesome.